All right. So I believe, um, I mean, fuck, I don't know what episode we're on, actually. <laughs> that sounds bad. However, doesn't fucking really matter. Um, I got some good old Mary J, and I just spent $25 on creation points. And we're going to see um, if we can get ourselves a couple more things. So if we go to my current library, we can see everything I have. Obviously, I don't want that because that will disable achievements. I'm looking for things that only cost money. Because those are the things that are not going to, uh... What's it called? <clears throat> Prevent us from getting achievements if I... If I am correct on that. Bethesda Game Studios. Okay, so I had I owned everything that Bethesda's came out with. So that's cool. Yeah, it's four piece of Thalmor light armor and Chilia worn by Thalmor. Is these press tells worship across Skyrim craftable with Elevin Smithing Perk. Or taken by force of the more themselves, created by Kelbar Beerus Ross. Um, to be honest, I'm not very interested in that one. I'm, I'm a heavy armor person myself. Let's go to Verified Creators. East Empire Expansion. East Empire Company is looking to expand their reach in Skyrim, and they need your help. In exchange for your help building up the East Empire's company presence in Skyrim, they'll provide you with powerful tools to help you in your adventuring loot delivery services. The EEC will carry your extra load out of dungeons and back to town or even back to your home. Sell your wares, give your extra items to a merchant, and they sell your items for you over time. Claim Dungeons Claim dungeons in the name of and receive a cut of their mining operations, then watch them take over locations with guard and mining teams. Okay, that sounds cool. As you engage in their services, claim locations in their names, and convince the arrows to allow them to do business. You'll witness the East Empire's results grow as they set up outposts in the nine holds of Raven Rock. Eventually, those outposts will improve and grant more services and benefits for helping them. Uh, feature a professional voice safety quest line, dynamic system, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think I'm sold. They, they got me. Echoes of the Valve. I got 1,500 left. I need to grab a water if I'm going to continue this. I am getting thirsty. But this is cool. This is really fucking cool.
All right, got the bitters in the right shape. AC cleansing my hair. Sorry for that pause. Have you ever wished that there was more than a forgotten bell to explore? Now there is. This creation nearly doubles the size of the forgotten bell. By adding new dungeons and landscapes that are lore friendly and visually similar to, similar to the base game. Most importantly, it elevates the Forgotten Veil vale from a linear quest based experience into a larger world all on its own. A new player home initiates rest, serves as a base camp from which you can discover the wonders of the lost world. By liberating the Forgotten Veil vale from the Dawn Guard quest line, this creation aims to make, make it a place that a player can enter and return to when how they choose. In order to maximize the capability and immersion, this creation does not alter existing quest and character and locations of the Forgotten Veil. Vale. No new quest, voice actors, or scripts have been added. Instead, players are encouraged to venture off the beaten path and explore these new areas organically, seeking adventures as they see fit. Features access to Forgotten Veil via Darkfall Cave without needing to start the Dawnguard questline. Claim a unique player home, campsite, and sheets rest, complete with all the usual amenities. Explore 23 new areas through the Forgotten Veil for a player to explore, including st standalone dungeons and exterior landscapes, discover new weapons and armor to build against powerful foes. Now, the Forgotten Veil is actually a pretty cool place, if I remember correctly. If you have not started the Dawnguard quest line or the quest touching the sky, simply travel to the Darkfall Cave north of Markarth. Then it, you will find a new passageway to to the right of the uh, Galibur's Way Shrine that will lead you to the Darkfall Dwell. This this new area will allow you to access the Forgotten Vale and Darkfall Passage directly without Galibur's help. While you are free to explore these areas, they're entirely both the Inner Sanctum and around the shrines will remain closed until you are ready to, to start touching in the sky. If you have started or completed touching the sky, then the passageway to Darkfall Dwell will be closed to you, and you must follow the Initiate's path to Forgotten Vale through the Way Shrine that Gelber's opens. Uh, compatibilities. This creation should be compatible with almost anything, but may may cause conflicts with mods or creations that add or alter areas of Forgotten Veil or parts of the quest touching the sky. Okay. Sold. Okay, now we're almost out of points. Get this badass gun. I I want the gun. I'm buying the gun. Archery skill. All right, now we can actually go into the game.
toxic. Last place I was was jail. Let's go ahead and sleep through it. So we should have a bunch of cool new shit now. Reported at the Talmor Embassy. I've got a lot of respect for the guests. Some place we should. Skyrim could use a lot more healing. So what was I doing? The Emperor's Safe. cousin, Victoria Beachy, is getting married. Oh, I gotta go down this way, huh? Do we have here? Hmm. Yeah, if here's yes. audio problems. Scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. Properly, maybe. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Hasn't Mercer Frey taught you people anything? You kill me, and your only cont- I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name, well, I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. It just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Yeah, I get to steal now. I really didn't feel like stealing today. Let me check out my skills again. Refresh my memory a little bit. What's my sneak at? The sneak is at 100. Okay, so there shouldn't be a problem. Eat some food though, holy shit. Cooked food, preferably. Probably something I can steal in the palace, though. Seville Stentor has a grasp of magic. Got lots of things to take care of. What do you need?
<clears throat> well, I'm already robbing the place. Might as well look for food. You, my friend, need practice. Fame Briling, at your service. Practice and what? With the court? I'm walking away with your guys' shit. Fuck yeah, I hit the mother lord, didn't I? Jarls come and Jarls go. But a good cook stays for a lifetime. And I'm a very, very good cook. Hey buddy, just uh, ignore me. <laughs> Even after all that, my character is still like dying. It's probably time for me to get out here. Do I got sixty three thousand? God damn, I'm really not doing bad. I don't own the house in solitude yet. Is that this one? This one? No, oh, it's one of these. No, oh, it's not that one. Okay, that's it right there. And I don't own it. Now if I just go on the map. Thalmar headquarters. There's supposed to be a thief's hideout now, if I read that correctly. One of the uh, creation club add-ons I bought. I'll discover it later. I've got a little work if you're interested, traveler. Patient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. 
Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Erenkoff for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. <coughs> our business has concluded and you're standing in my way. I'm gonna follow him. Winking Skeever's got warm beds and cold mead. You look like Now it's just turn into a stealth mission. I find it real, 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 real quick. Oh shit. It was the quickest I ever found it. I need to get to a merchant or something and drop off some of this random shit. Didn't I get that dagger?
He's like, fuck, he's right behind me, he's gonna kill me. Do I have any new spells or anything? I'm all day tricked up. That's pretty dope, though. You talk to Edward. You have no knowledge of who you speak to. Go away. What's up? You sell shit? You have to kill to get that blade. Oh, great. We get to play this game. Oh, I got it pretty quick. Sweet. Dead go. Huh? Oh shit. So much for stealth. Trying to be stealthy. So much shit to steal in here. I mean, like, really. I gotta come back here at some point. That was more effective. Not bad. Not a bad haul for basically doing nothing. Dude, how do you not see me?
<laughs> what the fuck? That's fucked up. That's kind of funny, though. <clears throat> Definitely kind of funny. He just keeps walking through it like, eh, not worth my time. He's just trying to stay alive. Oh, hey, buddy. You don't see me, okay? Only level 37, we got a ways to go. Was it worth it, buddy? Was it worth trying to kill me? I don't even know where his body went. What the fuck just happened? I'm glitched. I'm 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 fucking glitched in. That was weird. Sweet, I got that little wielding down.
was that? Trying to let my health regenerate up a little bit before I really get into combat here. All right, let's go this way for a second, see what happens. No, oh, he's killed poor doggy. All right, and here's where we get to actually a fun, fun. First, let's uh, let's teleport my pet Hilda. No, oh, I'm not here. Hilda, carry some stuff. Thanks, buddy.
no need to do anything rash. Gonna tell Mercer about everything. Honestly. Please, he'll help. All right, all right. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow Estate Deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's All right, well, that's out. fair. I can probably disenchant Carlia some of this shit. The thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster. Master lock. Oh shit. Okay. Fucking battery, really? I got a feeling I'm not getting this one. Not right now, not today. God damn it. Okay, three more tries. Oh shit. Okay, and I seriously don't have a uh, spell for this one. Oh, fuck. I know I can get one, but I don't got one right now, and that's the point.
to know more. I asked her the same thing, and she was... But now that I know who she is, I'd say she's trying to hit the Thieves' Guild where it hurts. Maven Black... If... If I was Maven, I'd bl... Exactly. This Carlia must consider it a gift to ensure your silence. That thing seems... Carlia didn't even want it. She wanted... Now you're speaking my language. Tell you what, if you need any stolen goods fenced, you bring them to me, and I'll pay you good money for them. Consider me your new friend in the North. Now you won't forget to tell Mercer I cooperated. Easy money, easy money. sure this is a shortcut or not I think it might have been the whole time I was hoping for a shortcut, it didn't work out very well. Well, I guess it's better than no shortcut. Back to Rift and we go, I suppose. It's this quest. Talk to the Jarl at Marthal. Find the Forge Master's fingers. Interesting. I need to get back to Mercer Frey though for the Thieves Guild cost stuff. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon. Let's just go see what kind of horse we got. We got to our disposal. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a very good meal. I mean, fuck, we got enough money. Might as well go to Morthal. Oh, and I got my reindeer thing. Yeah, we're going to Morthal.
What a long journey beginning. I should probably take a shortcut by going down through here. Or the leap rebout, that might be a good option to go to. You know what, let's check that out. Alright. So continuing on our journey here. We're gonna be crossing through some dangerous terrain. You can barter with me like one of those damned shop I think this is where I gotta start going off course a little bit. Yeah, I gotta go to the right. Might be the same quest that I was never able to actually complete on my Nintendo Switch character. Kept glitching out on me, so we'll figure out if that does the same thing here or not. Time to haul balls. <laughs> Don't lose speed now, reindeer. Ah, uh, it's a forsworn camp, even better. Here, there's, there's, there's a more fun way to go about this one. She killed me. <laughs> you feel better, but still peckish. At least I'm satisfied, right? I got an auto saves, that's good. Saw that coming. <clears throat> I 
I guess they ain't badass enough as a werewolf yet. Oh shit, was that all I could get out of that? Bullshit. Come on. Ah, uh, fuck that. Time to get out of here. Let me go. Yo, I swear to god, it's always these, the pets in the game that... Pets and followers that get you killed. Must be my imagination. Why is my controller not working? There we go. Gotta be some sort of tent or something. Come on. shit. Magic and restore health. Ah! Oh, fuck, this might be it for me.
Oh, fuck yeah, I needed that right now. A little bit of character balancing would help a lot. Okay, well, we're taking that with us. It's most likely got some resale value. At the very least. Something over there. Something else over there. <laughs> so I guess that is my next location, huh? Alright, well, fuck it. Reindeer went, but that is where I'm going. That is where I'm going. Discover this tower on the way. Probably put me on a pathway, anyways. I'm not trying to go inside or nothing yet, but at least this way I have it documented on the map for future future exploration. Check my game difficulty. Adapt. Let's put it on. Uh, oh fuck! I'm gonna put it on apprentice. fucked up. That shows how unbalanced my character is right there too. But let's go ahead and rebalance it just a little bit. Thought I gotta level up. Oh yeah, I gotta sleep first. dead. And look at that, my destination's right here. Oh no, 
which one to go for first. The one right there, or the one over here. Either way, I mean, I'll be shit close to that when I'm done, so. In fact, how easy can I get up here? That'll determine it. like on top of this shit. Come on. Let me discover it. Okay, I've been here before. Yep. <laughs> I'll get to discover this on a later time. Anyways, so... Oh shit, it's all the way over there. Fuck. Goat can find me, but my reindeer can't. That's cool. Search captive. No, nothing fishy happened here at all. Father wouldn't like it if he caught me swimming out here again, but I just can't help myself. Force for sightings, be damned. I love the way the cold water feels on my skin. Besides, with the raging, those savages won't dare leave the safety of their tents. So I think I'll head down to my special spot one more time. Yeah, it didn't work out too well. I'm gonna leave that out of respect. I've been to pretty much all these places I'm looking over at at some point in my, during my playthroughs, but this time is uh, significantly special. Just because I get to share it with the internet and I can replay it and kind of relive these experiences again. Identical to this playthrough. Oh shit, I hear a bear. <laughs> oh, the heavy ever <laughs> upgrade increased to 60. That's going to, uh, Allow me to do it a 20% armor upgrade, I believe, on my heavy armor. So that's cool. I've got a few things up here that are worth checking out. Looks like we're probably gonna hit the cave first. Friend or foe? Nope. Definitely not friend. And give me that one hand increase. Maybe it'll be a lard stone I hit. I think it's made a lard stone. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's right there. Is that Skyhaven Temple over there? Probably. Oh shit, all skills include, okay. This sounds nice. I like all my skills being improved faster. Is that Mark Hearth over there, probably? I'm thinking so. A little mining, mining town down here. Looks like many foes down here. <laughs> I'm just trying to get down the road, guys. I didn't mean nobody no harm. Shot him with one of his own arrows. But I'm pretty much fucked when it comes to ammo, so. You know, that's cool. Eh, fuck it, we're going down. Shit, man, this one might actually get me. Oh, fuck. I don't know what to do right now. Man. This guy's fought good. Give him some credit there. I'm not gonna lie about it. Let's get a quick save after that. I don't wanna do that again. Maik wishes. Some say Alduin is a Kator. Some say Maik is a liar. Don't you believe either of those things? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just taking every shortcut possible right now. We're getting there. Alright, we're going in blazing. I had a feeling it went the wrong way. That confirms it. I don't believe it. You found the Forge Master's fingers. You've impressed me, Outlander. No one else has returned from this task before. By the code of Malika, I name you Bloodkin to the Orcs. Let it be known among the strongholds that you are family now. Feel free to trade with our smiths for orc weapons and armor. Train with my warriors, or purchase poisons from the wise woman. Welcome to our stronghold, Bloodkin. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. This stronghold respects strength and strength alone. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Okay, well then go, buddy. I don't care what you do. You speak to Borgug, chief of Dushnik Yal. You'll never compare to me, but I can try to teach you anyway. Oh shit. Until Did you see time. someone run past just now? He's an ass guy that got robbed, so to get this. Never mind. Here, it's not much, but it's something. I'm going to track down that thief. Murder him. Orc poisons are to be feared if you wish to trade. Take a look. Okay, so she's got all sorts of cool shit. Fire salts, I always need those. I help my mother arm with the hunt. But he bring much meat and skins to the strong. I 
guess just this relief really too. I work the One day I will shape a weapon fit for a chief. Maybe that chief can be me. True Nords never back down. Come back here. Can't hide from me. I help in the mines as well are as you the looking wars. to work? The mines are nearby. You bring me ore, I'll give you coin. All right. All right, that's dope. So we unlocked a new thing there. Oh, fugitive got killed. Cool. So I guess the logical thing would be to head over to Markarth. I can hitch a stable from there if I want. Maybe I'll stay at the Mark Carthen, get some sleep, and level up. I take a shortcut this way, right? Yeah. Game doesn't that want me up here? That is for sure. Trolls, love. What happened to you, Pop? The Forsworn have taken Trollskager mine. We're the only ones left. You two head inside and get some rest. I'll send word to the yard. Damn Forsworn. Only a matter of time before they hit here, too. That I do. If you want to grab a pickaxe and dig up some iron, feel free. I'll pay for anything you bring me. Seems Cole Skegger mine got hit by Forsworn. Those madmen get more bold every season. Pavel and Gat are the only survivors. I'll be sending word to the Jarl about this, but I don't know when help will come. I'm sure Pavo would be grateful, and we'd all rest a little easier. But that's nonsense. You can't handle a group of Forsworn by yourself. If their axes don't get you, their magic will. Okay, well, I'll get to that eventually. Nice. As well discover this farmhouse too. There we go. Bro. 
That would be Jarl Igmund. Young for a ruler of the hold, especially the Reach. Wasn't surprising he stayed loyal to the Empire. His father helped capture Ulfric Stormcloak after the Markarth incident. It's the whole reason <clears throat> Ulfric revolted against the Empire. Well, the first reason, anyway. Forsworn had taken over Markarth, and Ulfric and his men drove them out. Empire promised they'd be free to worship Talos afterward. Pity no one told the elves. Whole group of those Thalmor came, and they demanded Ulfric's arrest. May the crags fail to trip your feet. So I don't own shit. Apparently not. <laughs> Saved her. I die for my corner here in the city. Everyone stay back. Arcot City Guard have this all under control. I did the right thing. I ain't touching the body. Wait. I know you. Nope, you don't know me. Is that fur? Alright, cool, cool. What are you hiding, Reese? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Let's go talk to the the, the Jarl of Markarth. You here to see you. the Jarl? Who are you to approach the Jarl of Markarth? I'm looking to purchase a horse. You may approach the mournful throne, but watch your words. Keep your eyes open for Forsworn when you're on the road. You speak to Igman, son of Orofnir, Jarl of Markarth. I don't know you, and I don't sell what precious property we have to outsiders. But if you're willing to work, and you prove to be reliable, I might deem you worthy to live here. My steward will handle things from there. Guards told me. Poor Margaret. And witnesses report that the attacker was shouting some nonsense about being a force one. I want to make things clear. Markarth has its troubles, but there are no force one in this city. They are only a threat in the hills and along the roads where they live. Everywhere else, we are in control. Are you a cell sword? I don't like your kind. No honor. No loyalty. Unreliable, but I can't turn away a potential ally in these times. Let's see if you're better than a common mercenary. My scouts have tracked down one of the Forsworn leaders, hiding out in their blood-soaked camps. Deal with them. We will see. I want no mercy for those Forsworn. I'm Igman's uncle. The Jarl has put out a bounty on Forsworn. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Yeah, whatever. Okay. As his house carl, Igman's security is my chief. <coughs> so now we got the ball rolling on Markarth. You there. You another Imperial puppet? Answer me. There's a war on and you don't know what I'm talking about. The Empire is destroying everything Skyrim stands for. Jarl Igman can refuse to see me all he wants. The Silverblood family will be heard. We own Sidna Mine, best prison in Skyrim, and source of half the wealth in this city. We keep the Reach safe. We flood Markarth with wealth. He's busy forgetting that Ulfric Stormcloak saved this city from the Forsworn. 
Ulfric's a hero, not a damn criminal. Oh, uh, freak. Wait, I know you. No, you don't know me. Stop saying you know me. You don't know anything about this house. No. Anyone seen entering? Guys, a woman attacked right on the streets. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? You don't have to say sorry to me. I just hope the eight bring us more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. I had one too many pints of meat. I hope your stay in Markarth treats you better. Plenty of strong drink. This is the Silver Blood Inn. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Ah, uh, I could stay in a nice hotel. <coughs> hotel room for a night. That's good. Hi there. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything else you need. Nope. Just a nice nap on a stone bed. Use a magic upgrade pretty bad. Let's look at my heavy armor actually. Fuck it. Why can't the men in this city leave me alone? Songs are just old memories that the mead go down quick. All right, I guess it's time to go back to Riften now. <laughs> Once we get to like mid-level 40, use to level 50, I'll start feeling a lot more balanced, but right now I'm getting my ass kicked. City of Markov. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. You want to watch yourself in rip <coughs> a lot of ways to get stuff in the in that town. And I'm starving again. That's the part I hate about striving mud right there. The constant starvation. Do I own a house in Riften? I don't remember if I do or not. We can find out really quick. Nope. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? <sighs> Probably steal some food down here. I think I do own shit off the sanctum.
Yep. Yes. Did Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? No, it can't be. <laughs> I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Oh shit. It's go time. See if I can get back to my own place. A little three hour power nap. you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Just ignore me, I'm just really fucking hungry. Driving off stolen food. What a way to live. Salt pile, that's actually pretty valuable. Wait, no, no, it's this way. I need to go this way. What the fuck I just took, but <laughs> well, that's enough to get me by for now. I'm still in pretty rough shape, though.
Just put all my fucking soul gems away. do 23% more damage. That's nice. 23%. Oh shit. I don't even know. I am kind of going with an archery build here though, so yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. Alright, which one goes for the most? Going for the most money here. Carry capacity. <laughs> All my soul gems are going in here that are filled. I got some good ingredients. Let's add some more. I think this honestly might be a good time to call it an episode. I don't really want to do much more tonight. I forgot about this place. Alright. And with that said, I'll be back with this one in the next episode.